Hi children. Today we are going to learn from the life of Daniel. Daniel lived during the time Jehoiakim ruled the land of Judea. Jehoiakim was defeated by Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar told his chief Ashpenaz to take some smart boys and those who can learn quickly to serve in his palace. He told the chief to give them training for three years by giving them the food from the palace and give them wine. Among them there were four boys, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael and Azariah. Daniel was so sad to take these foods because this food make him unclean. Children, you have to understand, Daniel is now in a place he is so far from his home and there is no one seeing him and he has to learn new culture, new language, new way of living and he can do anything he want. See, now you are in grade 9 or 10. You may be waiting to finish 12th and go to college and want to do what all you want. Now you may be following Christ or doing what saying the Bible because it is you being forced to do. But now Daniel is in a situation to take a choice. Now you can see what decision that Daniel has taken. He want to be integrity with what he has learned and what he is believing. You might be remembering what Lija Andy told you in the first day. She showed us we can be a person with integrity when our belief and our words and our actions comes together. So now we can see what Daniel has done. He has a desire. So he go and ask to Ashpenaz. But Ashpenaz said some reasons for him. But he trusts God. And you have to understand when you stand in integrity, God will open a way for us. God was in favor to Daniel and his friends. So Daniel asked the guard, can you serve us vegetables and water for 10 days and check whether they are equally healthier with the other people who take the time from the palace. After 10 days, the guard found Daniel and his friends are far healthier than the other men. At the end of three years of training, Ashpenaz took all the men to the king. King asked questions to these men and king found there was no one better than Daniel and his three friends. And Daniel and his three friends were ten times better than the wise men and the magicians in the kingdom. Children, from this, there is a great thing we have to learn. When we are living in, in an environment where we go to church, we have friends, we have Christian friends, we have prayer at home, everything goes smoothly. But understand, we are in a situation that we can do anything that you want. The luxuries of the world. It's a choice. And when you stand for God, God will give you a way to overcome the situation. One day, the king Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. And the dream bothered him. So he called all the magicians and the wise men in his kingdom and asked them 
to tell about his dream and interpret it and they all failed and told the king that no great kings in the world told such a thing and no one can tell about the dream Tanya asked king to give him few days to tell about his dream he went back home and told his friends to pray with him and at night god revealed him the dream and the interpretation and the next day daniel told the king about his dream and the interpretation and he acknowledged that the almighty god revealed him what the dream was the king was so happy and rewarded him with greater prizes the king also appointed daniel as the ruler over the province of babylon daniel was faithful to his friends by asking the king to give his friends the power to rule over the province of babylon and the king accepted his request and granted it as years passed king nebuchadnezzar dies and his successor belshazzar become the king few years later belshazzar was killed and darius the mede become the king darius thought it was a good idea to appoint 120 satraps to rule over his kingdom and he also appoint three rulers to rule over these 120 satraps and daniel was one of them daniel proved himself as a better ruler than the other two by his good character and better ability king darius was impressed with daniel and planned to appoint daniel to rule over the entire kingdom this made other rulers and satraps to be jealous over him so they were trying to find reason to accuse daniel so they watched closely on what he was doing but children you know but they could not find anything wrong with him and he was a man people could trust he did not cheat the king and he worked very hard so they thought to find something that connected to the law of his god so the group went to the king and asked to make a law that all the people should pray to the king otherwise they will be thrown into the lions den king darius made the law and signed it was a custom in the medi and persian that if the king made the law and signed it no one can cancel or change Daniel was a man who prayed to God three times a day. Even he heard about the law, he went to his home, go to the upper room, open the window facing to Jerusalem. He kneeled down and worshiped God. The satrap and the supervisors found Daniel praying to the God for help and they reported to the king. The king was upset. He decided to save Daniel, but the group reminded the king that the once the law is made and signed, no one can change or cancel it. So King Darius ordered Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. It is important to notice the response of the King Darius. to Daniel that is was telling may the god you serve save you 
Daniel was therefore thrown into the den. The king was upset and did not eat. He did not want anyone to meet him and he did not sleep all night. Next day early morning, King Darius ran to the lion's den and he called out, Daniel, Daniel! And we can see Daniel replied, Kings live forever. My God knows that I was innocent and I did not do anything wrong to you. And his angels closed the mouth of the lions and I am safe. Dear children, now we have heard few life incidents of Daniel. From this we found that so some qualities of a person with integrity is a person of good character, a person can be trusted, a person never cheat and one who work hard. Dear children, I want to conclude today's story with an encouraging promise word. It's from 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 30. It is written like this. God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it.